up in Missouri, and I was actually up there to rescue something else, and I just saw him. And I thought, you know, I, I, I've been needing one of those. <laughs> and uh, his parents were totally normal, and I just thought I was going to have a little calf, and I'd always wanted to saddle break a, a calf, so I thought this would be a good one. And then as he grew, uh, his horns just weren't normal. <laughs> and uh, by the time he was two, I knew something was up, and uh, the World Watusi Association agreed that his horn bases were uh, abnormally large for his age. And they just uh, continued to grow and grow and grow like <laughs> like uh, that. And uh, by the time he was three, he was the world record. But I waited because they were growing so much. I just waited till I thought they were done growing. And then uh, in 2003, he, he got the record. And he was published in the 2005 edition. The, and uh, he was featured, actually, in that edition. And... Uh, this is the Guinness World Book. Guinness of World Book of Records. Uh -huh. yeah, so you submitted the information originally. I did, um, and uh, did all the requirements, and uh, and then since that time, he's actually broken his own record. I haven't recertified him yet, because um, it, it's a, you know a lot to, to do to do so. But uh, he continues to grow. Well, you he's, mentioned film crews that come from around the world just to see him. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the Japanese are crazy about him. Um, had four crews from Japan and a fifth one coming in just a few weeks. They come all this way to film him for their shows, and uh, just they can't get enough of him. <laughs> and I've been trying for years to get uh, America to do the same thing and get him a job. <laughs> so we're still working on that. Sounds like Lurch needs an agent. Lurch, well, he actually has an agent now. This year, for the first time, he has some film producers that are working on uh, getting him a job and uh, finishing up a documentary about him and Rocky Ridge that hopefully will uh, garner some gainful employment to help fund the refuge. <laughs> Done. Hey, Lurch. Hi, Lurch. Say, bud. That's a miniature cow coming up behind him there. That's a miniature zebu. They're from Sri Lanka. I have two of those. Now, she was horribly abused when I got her. Uh, almost dead. Yeah, but she's done very well. And uh, very sweet. Her story's on my website. I have a website uh, with pictures and a little bit about some of the animals here. And what is your web address? It's uh, rockyridgerefuge.com. But little journey there, she stays close to Lurch. She feels safe with him. <laughs> and because uh, she's still leery of strangers from, from her neglectful, abusive like past. Obama. They do. They're similar. They come from a similar area, you know, so Sri Lanka, Pakistan, that area. And uh, Lurch is showing off there for you. I'll show you how tall he, <laughs> he uses the trees to rub on. and get the itchy spots. Here comes his friend, the young water buffalo. That's Wade. Wade's still growing. He'll get to be about a ton. He was a little orphan, and I had him since he was four days old, and he's done real well. Here comes an old ram. That's Marley. He's very, very old. <laughs> and uh, They all just hang together, as you can see. They're... Wade and Lurch are joined at the hip. <laughs> huh, Wade? Yeah, that's your buddy? Yeah. Your ram. Yeah. He's... Now he's not indigenous to Arkansas. Oh, no, that's a Barbados ram. They're originally from Africa, actually. You can see his... They shed their hair. Now, he's over the years, he's kept a little wad there on his shoulders, and it just kind of stays there. He doesn't want me to cut it off, but the girls... Uh, you can see they're slicked off real pretty like deer in the summer and then they'll wool back up in the winter. They shed their own, own hair, own wool. Uh, Brian, what are you doing, buddy? He likes to... Brother Brian likes to chew on feet, don't you, Brian? Yeah, you're a naughty goose. <laughs> Here's the twins. <laughs> it's like a before and after shot. Yeah. But yeah, they're usually very close together, and they're best friends. And Wade will eventually be a bigger than Lurch, uh, body-wise. So. Now is Lurch's horn still growing? Yep. 
they sure are. Mostly they're adding length now. They're actually over seven and a half feet in length. Uh, 38 inches around last time I measured. But uh, you can see near his head there where that pink band is. That's very tender, uh, very thin. He rubs it on the trees and it'll bleed. It's very vascular. Uh, my vet has x-rayed those horns. And uh, so we, we've seen what's going on in there uh, somewhat. And, uh, <laughs> Uh-oh. Cut! <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> Look, don't film that. They, uh, they don't want to be left out. These are full-grown miniature donkeys. <laughs> and they're kind of nosy. Kind of nosy. Huh. I, I've taken them to nursing home visits also. Taking lambs, uh, donkeys, zebra, dogs, of course. Uh, just about anything I could load up in the car, got to go. And uh, they enjoy people. Yeah, you've been rolling, Kevin. Hmm. Hey, Tadpole. Hey, Tadpole. The little, the little donkeys are the best little critters, I'll tell you. Well, hi, guys. Just passing through, huh? Just want to want their... Picture's taken some more. I weighed. <laughs> What's that? What's that? What's that? Show them your best side. Come on. Come on. Show them. Yeah. Show them that pretty face. Wait. Hey, wait. Gotta go on to my napping spot. Look, look right there. <laughs> hey, Lurchy. That's how he swats flies. His horns. He clubs them. <laughs> But yeah, I used to ride him. Little children have ridden him. My 80-year-old aunt's ridden him. Uh, he was a smooth ride, but about a year ago, I, I sold his saddle because I figured he had enough to carry. And uh, he's, he just gets to take it easy now. But you can see now real well on his horns there the, where it's real tender and pink, where it's growing there. Right. And you can see the lines almost like a tree with has rings. You can see every year how it's grown. It used to grow quite a bit. Now it's, it's smaller amounts every year since he's gotten older. And uh, he he's he'll be 12 in October, and uh, normally their horns would be about done growing, but <laughs> his horns. <aren't. laughs> Luckily, they're growing slowly, so I don't think they'll add a whole whole lot more. But uh, he does great. He runs and plays and swings them like it's nothing to him, because you know it's what you get used to. Hey, Lurchy. Hey, Lurch. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Look here, Lurchy. Good boy, good boy. His little ears have been smushed over the years. They've actually been relocated. <laughs> They've kind of been pushed back as the horns have grown. But they're, uh, you can still hear, they, they, they're not that smushed. But he's, he's a happy guy. Just, uh, he'll, uh, a lot of times little kids will come to visit and he'll put his head down for them to scratch. He loves to have his head scratched on top between his horns and he really likes kids. Oh, they're being shot.